What's up guys, welcome to the Scarge channel. Today we're going to be going over the perfect jump technique to get you jumping higher. But before we do that, make sure you like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. We're going to be looking at the two foot jump approach and the one foot jump approach. But we're going to start off with the two foot approach. So, let's go here. Watch this jump right here. I think it's in slow mo. Okay, guys. We'll go through one. And look how upright my body was the whole time, guys. You want to make sure you're staying upright as possible. You don't want too much forward momentum with your upper body. You want it a lot with your lower body, but definitely not your upper body. It makes it hard to compensate with your legs to stop your entire body from just jumping forward too much. Okay guys, another thing you want to really look at when you're jumping is notice how, you can't really tell here, but notice how I'm looking up, not down, you're either looking up at the rim or neutral, you don't want to look down, which basically goes with the whole point of not having your upper body bent down. You want to uh, look up to your target because that's honestly is where your body is going to jump. If you look at the rim and say your max jump is the rim, you'll get the rim, but if you look above it and you do a few jumps you're most likely going to get a little bit higher than the rim because your body naturally is going to improve over time all right guys let's just back that thing up a little bit we're going to take a look at the penultimate step right here notice how i'm literally in the air both of my feet are not on the ground this is really good because you want to have a strong penultimate step. That's how my left leg pushed off pretty hard. You don't want to push off so hard that you can't control yourself uh, for your jump because that would turn it into basically a deb jump into your max jump and you're not going to get as high doing that. So a long penultimate stride, a strong one, but not too long so that you're losing momentum. Finish the jump. Bam. Now I might as well go right into my feet placement. Notice how when my feet first hit the ground, my right foot, or whatever one you don't take the penultimate on, is flat on the ground. And my left is bent inwards and only the toes are on the ground. This is actually really good form because you want to get the most power out of your right foot so you're going to have the whole thing on the ground but you want that left foot or the one that sweeps around to just be on your toes and that's really going to help you jump out the gym guys and then lastly for the two foot approach we're going to look at my arm swing see how i'm making the uh the basically the best use of my arms with this i brought them out super wide and i'm really swinging them up and then notice right here guys how the right arm comes down to basically propel my body up even more this is extremely important guys um in the vertical jump test at like the combine the nfl combine or even like just if you're going to test it on one of those pads that like gives you a digital reading. You want to basically swing your arm up and then swing it back around because that'll keep you in the air for longer. So now that we have your two foot approach, hopefully you can get a few inches on your jump just from this. I'm sure you could if you mastered the approach. Now we're gonna look at the one foot approach. We're just gonna look at a raw jump really quickly and then we'll break it down. So let's see what I do here. I'm not a one foot jumper guys, but I have been getting better at it as of late. So let's look at this. 
That looks pretty good. For a lot of these one foot uh, run ups, you want to keep your run up as fast as possible. This basically makes it so you have the most momentum to bring yourself up higher, guys. You don't want, also for this, you don't want your penultimate to be too long. Notice how I kind of took a quick step there. Because if it's too long, then you're going to be in like a single leg squat position and you're not going to get. It's going to be way too hard to propel yourself up as high as you usually get. And then, let's see here. Another thing right here. Notice how my left leg or whatever off leg, not, obviously not your jumping one. You're going to kick that up. Try to kick it up to your chest almost. Because that's going to add extra momentum to your jump. Making your takeoff a lot easier. And then notice how it straightens. This is kind of the same thing as an arm swing. Bringing it back down gives you a little bit more air time, I'd like to say. And then the same goes for the arm swing, you guys. You still want to use your arms. It's a little bit harder off one because there's not as much buildup um, as the two foot jump, but you still want to swing your arms up so notice how I'm doing the same thing with my right arm. It's coming back down so I get extra hang time. But a lot of people who jump off one don't utilize the arms at all because they utilize the fast run up. Which is okay but there's you know, at least one to three inches to gain on your vert if you're using your arms properly. And then lastly you guys, it's the same as the two foot approach. You want to keep your body upright as possible and look up to the rim or neutral you don't want to be leaning forward or else you're gonna basically jump and land by the trash can you're gonna jump too far and you're not gonna get as high so that's gonna be it for today guys I hope you found this video useful um, there's a ton of good tips that I provided so make sure you're using these tips and I can almost guarantee that you're going to gain at least a few inches after you master them. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. To Scarge, thanks and have a good one. Peace.